Welcome to Harmony Public Schools. My name is Paola and I will explain the law of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum is a vector quantity that involves the mass and velocity of the wheel and the distance from the center of rotation. In this case, the mass is equally distributed on the rim of the wheel, and when you spin the wheel, it gets a high velocity which creates a big angular momentum. The angular momentum is so big that it is greater than the force of gravity that is trying to pull it down. That's why it stands up on its own. Friction then helps decrease the energy and velocity, causing the wheel to stop. Bicycle gyroscopes have had a big effect of change in society all over the world. With this project, we are able to understand how bicycles work. If it wasn't for the gyroscopic effect, bicycles wouldn't have been designed. Physics right hand rule states that as the wheel rotates this way, the force will be in this way and the torque will be towards the direction of my thumb. As he tilts the wheel in this direction, force will be applied in this direction, causing him to move in the same direction. According to rotational inertia, as you put the weights farther away, it will be harder to rotate. As you put them closer to the center, it will rotate faster. For my ELA component, I chose to write a newspaper article to further understand angular momentum and all the other scientific principles behind this project. Applying the same concept of rotational inertia, when the mass is distributed further away from the center, it is harder to rotate. However, when the mass is distributed on the center, it is easier to rotate. Thank you for watching Harmony Schools.